Looking forward to watching, uh, obviously, heat number four play out. We've got Sammy P Pupo leading Leonardo Fioravanti at the moment, but joining them in the lineup, the current world number one, Griffin Colapinto, up against Kelly Slater. What a heat this is. Standing up on the peak. Here goes Kelly Slater up into that first section. Throws his board into a spin, but loses contact with the, uh, the equipment and goes down. Let's check in with the winner of the last heat. Most of the competitors opting to stick with this right-hander. What that southerly direction does is create this angle. Here goes Kelly. Slater looking to get things going. In the first half of his exchange with Griffin Colapinto taking off on a small insider. And doesn't extract any points out of that one. There'll be another throwaway score for the King. Here we go, Kelly, live action. Well, Slater has been just chipping away at these insiders as his heat's been without priority and finally he makes one of those rotations stick. And you'd have to think that Griffin Colapinto is starting to rub his hands together thinking that's how I'm going to get a, a bit of an edge on Kelly. Here's that texture on the surface. We'll see how Colapinto deals with it. Just his second ride here, swooping through that carve. Just a oh. really busy, wow, make something of that inside section with a nice grind, a strong opening turn. And this was Griff. So you can see all this texture here, Griff going through it. So a little projection floated down the line, nice clean snap, and again up on over the roof. And I love this little sort of check turn through the inside there, really fast direction. On the outside, Slater has a look at it, doesn't take it, Griffin. He'll swing into it. Oh. Nice big hack off the top to get started. This wave already starting to flatten out. But with that wind puffing, Griffin will take a chance on this thing ramping up on the inside. Whipping back into the bowl a couple of times before this thing fades away. Strong opening move though. And in the opening round just looks super strong. Here he goes again. Keep him busy. Nice little kick on the tail. Gets the tail free above the lip. Uh, again, just pinpoint timing here. His number from that previous ride still dropping at the moment. I'm happy to have another, another heat with him. We've had a couple already, and um, I guess it's a blessing to, you know, having both brothers on tour. It's not very usual, so um, I guess my mom, mom and dad should be really proud of their, their job. <laughs> the whole family will be tuned in to, to watch that one unfold. We saw Slater during the interview get himself a, a ride there, but he went down on the opening section, and Griffin, you know, he's just been building on his numbers with every ride so far. This wave a little trickier to read as he just kicks out at the, the shallow inside section. Seen him go out on the open face just a little bit more, perhaps connect with a, cl a cleaner part of the wave. Griffin behind him, sort of a turn like that is probably a better option. Griffin staying out in front of it, especially with all this chop now. You know, he's not as dedicated to the tour as he yeah. needs to be to win heats uh, at different stages uh, of the year, especially, I think, when the, the conditions get a little marginal. However, when he puts that jersey on, something clicks in his head and he's ultra competitive. Here comes Kelly to the keyhole. Yeah, he's going to get a big applause. I was going to say, Kelly, before Kelly came onto the tour there was a huge gap between free surfers and competitive surfers and uh, Kelly kind of he, he closed that gap you know he proved that you can surf in a free surf style really radically pushing the limits of surfing bringing new maneuvers into the jersey with the jersey on um, and the sport forever changed and then you you uh, overlay that with board design and, and uh, when he brought in the, you know, these really refined kind of feather thin boards that allowed you to explore different parts of the wave, uh, surfing was forever changed again. So he's, he's responsible for so many changes in our sport. He changed the reputation of the sport to being a little bit unruly and radical uh, to something that was just super professional, brought a whole ton of money into the industry that everyone prospered from. Um, you know, we should just be bowing down and honouring this guy forevermore. Well, we do. I feel like, too, you know, Kelly has struggled to, to win heats in, in the last couple of years, really since the, the big pipe victory. Uh, however, his free surfing is going to be marvelled. Uh, he just loves surfing so much. He'll chase down good swells. The footage of him competing, or competing, surfing, competing for waves with the, the crowd up uh, 
Kira recently was unbelievable. Got one of the best rides, but just laying down a full rail timeless hack as well that just lit up the internet. I just think he's going to have a renaissance period uh, as a, a free surfer. Oh, he has eye of the grommet when it comes to uh, hunting waves, quality waves, and you you would argue that, I mean, given a, a, a six foot barrel, you know, he is still right up there with the world's best. He can compete at the highest level. He's got an innate sense uh, with judgment, with positioning. He's a freak. Oh, they're not going to let him walk the stairs. And Kelly Slater getting chaired up. The iconic staircase here at the Western Australian Market River Pro. Griffin Colapinto throws down a, a high five in respect. Watch your head. <laughs> Don't knock your head on that sign. Oh, this is awesome to see. Big surf fans over here. Astute surf fans, they're, they're aware of the gravity of this moment. Yeah, well, these guys have probably watched Kelly here for, you know, upwards of 25, 30 years competing at this break. Special moment for the GOAT. I think Kelly's still breaking down his heat. <laughs> probably, man. He can't help it. Oh, great scene. Big high five with Jake the Snake Patterson. Coach's corner relishing in this moment as well. You know, so many of, of Kelly's old sparring partners are working as coaches now on the tour. He's still here taking it to the 20 year olds. But they're all down there. They're all wanting to rub shoulders with him. That leggy string could be worth a fair bit of money. <laughs> yeah. So out there in the lineup at the moment, just to keep you updated, Ramsey has the lead over Matty McGilvray. A couple of good waves for him. 7.33, 5.73. McGilvray needs a 6.14. Just had that one rotation earlier for a 6.93. And uh, jo Cole Hausman has the, the jump on George Pitar in the, the first half of their heat at this stage. Yeah. Let's, let's get caught up with, with Kelly, see how he's feeling. We'll throw it down to Stace. Thanks, Ron. Kelly, how's the emotions there as the clock was ticking down? Oh, I was just frustrated I didn't take the six off of uh, Griff, you know. I, m my thought process was his four wasn't a big score, and I thought at some point a you know, proper good wave was going to come, and I just thought, I'll be patient, be patient. I looked at his, and I thought, yeah, without priority, I would have taken 100%, but um, with priority, I was like kind of touch and go, but, you know, he already had the one score, the best score of the heat, so the smart play was to take that wave, but, and that probably would have put me on his second good when he got two, so, you know, in terms of a heat, that was the mistake, but it, the, 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 the conditions turned pretty bleak on us there. Um, as far as emotions, yeah, it's almost hitting me. Oh, it's right there, bubbling. But, um, you know, just to have the boys cheer me up. They told me they were going on a free surf the other day, uh, Adzie and, and uh, T-Bone, those guys. So nice to have the local boys from the podcast cheer me up. Um, and the support here has been uh like unquestionably incredible over the years you know i've I've, really, I've never really even had a good result here and the crowds have just been so uh supportive of me and uh you know generally tell me that i'm second behind taj or jack for them so uh, or maybe jay davies that one year um you know but they they've always given me a lot of support and and uh uh you know i, I i've just i've had a i've had a fight with this wave my whole career um so it's not necessarily the wave I want to end on. Um, I, have, I have put in for a wild card for Fiji, and we'll see how that goes. And, um, but yeah, it is what it is, you know? Everything comes to an end, and if you don't adapt, you don't survive, and my, my motivation just hasn't quite been there to really put in that 100% that everyone's doing now, you know?
You've had three decades plus on tour of being the undisputed greatest of all time. You've had this support everywhere around the world. Um, you know, how's that reflection been? It's been incredible. Even in Brazil, where they're just so hardcore for their fans, you know, I've really been a favorite there for them. They've, they've really shown me a lot of love and, and support and a lot, of, a lot of anger, you know. They get mad at me when I get critical. But, uh, you know, I'll tell my Brazilian fans, I love you guys. Um, thanks for all the support all those years and all my friends down there. Um, it's been, it's been a, an incredible lifetime of memories. I like your chance of that Fiji wild card, but other than that, what's next for you, mate? Um, I got a couple weeks here. Um, Renato asked me if I wanted to surf on the Goldie, so I might if Snapper looks good. We'll see, just for some fun. Um, and uh, I got a couple weeks in Australia still, two, three weeks in Australia, and then I got some work in the States and some stuff I got to do back there that got scheduled. Unfortunately, I'd like to stay in Australia for a few months right now, but uh, yeah, I think I got to head home. And, and we got just under three months now for the baby to come. So as far as like planning it out and timing, this, this works really well for us and for me. And, um, and now Kalani and I can have some time to really settle in these last couple months and, and uh, just get prepared for a little different lifetime, a little different lifestyle, so. Absolutely, and a, a personal message to your family and friends tuning in online. Uh, just, it's just so much emotion for so long, you know, so much dedication and, you know, it's not all, it's not all uh, roses, you know, um, but it's, it's been the best times of my life and, and uh, you know, I know my family's at home watching and love you guys. Um, couldn't, couldn't quite pull a miracle off this week, but you know, I pulled a few off over the years and uh, I still had that hope out there, you know? I was like, oh, one might pop up with a minute to go. So, um, uh, but to lose to the number one, you know, Griff's the number one guy and I've, I've been close friends with Griff for a long time. Um, so I'm kind of avoiding that emotion because it's just, it's all right there bubbling up. But it hit me, it hit me at sunset this year. Um, because I knew that without a good result at Pipeline, and obviously I didn't do well at Sunset, and you know I have been struggling since since my surgery, since the recovery. Um, it's like I'm just fighting through the pain, hoping for adrenaline. But I, I felt at Sunset after that, I was at the house talking to Kalani, and I just kind of broke down. I went, you know, I, I, this this feels like the end, you know. And um, uh, but the start of something else, you know, the start of the rest of life. And you know, I'm I, I've I've had such incredible luck and good fortune over the years, and I think that's what um, it's so tied in with my surfing. So yeah, I'll just have a little quiet time after I spend some time with the crowd and and uh, just absorb the whole thing, you know. But it's been fun to be over 50. It's still mixing up with the guys and, and um, you know, feeling like I'm there with them and, and um, getting to see these new crop of guys. Uh, you know, Rio said to me, he said, don't retire, we gotta get a heat first. And we got it, we ended up getting a heat at Pipeline and, and then Cole and I got a heat, which was fun. And, and um, you know, to finish with Griffin as a full-time competitor, that's cool. But uh, I, I do feel like if I get a wild card or two, I could end up against Griffin again. So, you know, I'll pay him back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll look forward to that. Kelly, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for all the memories from all of us here at the league and the fans on the, on the hill. Enjoy your afternoon and um, enjoy your time with the fans. Thank you, Kelly. Thanks. Thank you, Stace. Great job. And thank you, Kelly Slater. He is the miracle man. You know, a, a dedicated career that he's had and a decorated career. It's just been amazing to watch it. And we'll be chatting to Kelly, uh, obviously, again during this broadcast so make sure you stay tuned but what a freak <laughs> just unbelievable <laughs> excuse me i gotta get this out here in the red bull athlete zone with griffin colapinto firstly griffin thank you for your time it's kelly mania down there yeah Stace, it's freaking going off down there that was crazy how do you center yourself in a moment like that um in which moment potentially retiring kelly slater well that's yeah that's pretty mind-blowing i bet when I saw that he was doing the chair up, up the stairs, I was like, whoa, is that, is that for real? I like, got kind of, it's kind of like one of those things in surfing when guys do that, it's kind of a sign of retirement. And you know, the fact that he did that 
against after a heat with me, it was like I was pretty blown away and kind of just like trying to just take it all in. I like gave him a high five as he was getting chaired up and just like caught eyes with him and just went, ah. Oh. <laughs> so I was just taking it in and um, I don't know, it's crazy. He's given me and everyone on this tour so much, you know, like we owe, we owe him so much. Like, you know, our, we make a living because of him, you know, like he took the sport so far and uh, it's pretty incredible. I mean, we'll keep on the theme of Kelly. You got a favorite section of his that you watched when you were growing? Uh, probably just like all the Taylor Steele movies and then like Fly in the Champagne, the, the rival with him and Andy always got me super fired up. And I always kind of felt like I was a little more like Kelly. So I was like, I could, would try and, you know, envision myself being like that. And then, yeah, so it was pretty cool. And personally yourself, you had an amazing year yet. Looking to keep it going? Yeah, looking to keep it going for sure. Um, I think my next heat's against Ramsey, and he's freaking incredible. One of my favorite backside surfers. So I, I like when I have heats against guys like that because you just know you got to go all out, and hopefully the waves are offshore and good again tomorrow. We'll wait and see. Thanks for your time, Griff. All right, thanks, Dave.